We now turn to Senator Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thanks to all of our witnesses today. Wait, listen. Um, professor Sarin, you you uh, you're you're a professor at Yale Law School. I am. Okay. Uh, and you, I see you've been pretty active on Twitter. I'm looking at one of your tweets from a few months ago, October 30th, 2023. I'd like to read it to you. The House Republican stance is, I kid you not, support for Israel as long as we make it easier for people to cheat on their taxes, end quote. Did you tweet that? That's correct, yes. Okay. Um, how many Republican congressmen or women did you talk to before you made that statement? I was reacting to the fact that, and we've talked about it actually yes, so far in this. Yes, ma'am, but first, if you could, how many Republican uh, Congresswomen or congressmen, did you talk to? I didn't talk to them. I actually was just reacting to the legislation that was proposed. You didn't talk to you didn't talk to any of them. No, sir. Before you said that every single one of them supports Israel only if if it is made easier for people to cheat on their taxes. I actually don't think that every single one of them believes that. But that's that. what but you I, said. But I do think that the legislation passed by the House reflects a statement of purpose that but, in order to support Israel, but, but, it's important but I'm looking to at what you said, allow what taxpayers what your to be able saw. to cheat you on their taxes. You said that every single House Republican, none of whom you talked to, would only support Israel if it was made easier for Americans to cheat on their taxes. Now, you said that, Senator and you didn't talk to any of them. Senator Kennedy, Didn't. I am I am struck by, and perhaps this is something on which we agree, that it is incredibly important to support Israel. It is also incredibly important to make sure that well, taxpayers. At the I'm not. Of the I, I, I can, we agree on Israel, but share. I just can't believe you would say this about members of Congress. It's pretty pejorative. It's vicious. Let me finish. Without talking to them, I mean, would it be possible for somebody? to support a reduction to the IRS budget because they simply believe the federal government ought to have a, a balanced budget? Would that be a fair position? That would would be, that be a principled position? Except that that actually doesn't work with respect to defunding But would it IRS? be a principled position? It wouldn't be an accurate position because okay. defunding But you don't know because you didn't talk to anybody, did you? Well, you just said it. Defunding the IRS, the CBO agrees, everyone who's testifying today agrees that well, that is going to add to deficits, could, not could reduce it, them. Could it be that a, a House Republican wanted to reduce the IRS's budget because they think that the IRS is a model of inefficiency and shouldn't be rewarded with more money. Well, Could Senator, that have been a possibility, a motivation for the way they Senator voted? Kennedy, I so appreciate that question because the reality Could that have been that a motivation for the way they voted? And it relates very closely to what Senator Could Keene that have said. been a motivation the for the way they voted? That you've seen an inefficient Could that have draft. been a motivation for the way they voted? If you allow the, the witness to voted. answer, you might get your answer, Senator it, it Kennedy. It frankly couldn't have been. It could or couldn't? It could not have been. How do you know you didn't talk to him because the reason why you've seen you just IRS made this statement that hasn't that every been able every republican in the house supports israel only if it, it has been made easier for people to cheat on their taxes could it be that maybe a house member thought that well the more money we spend the more deficits we have and the more deficits we have, the more pressure is put on interest rates, and the higher interest rates go, the more it hurts the poor. Well, Could that have been Senator the position Kennedy. of one of the House Republicans? Senator Kennedy. Could it have been, theoretically? It couldn't have been, because Could it, everyone— It couldn't agrees. have been? It, it frankly couldn't. How do you know you didn't talk to him? Well, 
I know that everyone agrees, including witnesses across the aisle, including CBO, including every single tax expert that has contemplated this question, that defunding the IRS makes deficits worse, not better. And so this is a deficit measure. I just find it, measure. Professor, appalling. Appalling that you would make a statement like this, a vicious statement like this, without talking to a single person about whom you made the statement. And I'm going to remind you, you know, you, you, you're only, you can only be young once, but you can always be immature. And you ought to think about that. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Uh, let me just say that I think that the treatment of witnesses is beginning to degrade a bit here. And um, I'm going to strike some commentary if it continues down this road. I think personal insults to witnesses are not uh, appropriate, and I will not uh, be um, tolerant of that in this committee. Well, could I respond, Mr. Chairman? You, you're going to Fire do away. I think you just called a... Uh, you're you're going to do what you've got to do, but I'm going to continue to use my time. You, you bring witnesses, as you're entitled to, and some of them are very good. Some of them uh, have, 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 uh, have the credibility of Michael Avenatti. And I'm going to use my time when I think it's appropriate to, uh, to and test, I'm going to use, to, and I'm going to use my authority thought, as Shelf, chairman to test as credibility, witnesses' as credibility. Well in order so you to do what you got to do, and I'm going to do what I got to do. Good behavior in But if that is meant to, to, to bully me, you're, you're talking no to the wrong to bully guy. You. Okay. No attempt to bully you, none at all. It's to keep the witness and the committee free of bullying. I'm entitled to test their credibility, and I think we, one of our witnesses just got tested. I hope I passed, Senator. Thank you. You didn't. 